So, so what is addition really? What really is addition? Let's say I have, I start out with like three books. I want to do some books. I have three books and then I go ahead and I add one more book to my collection, if you will. So now, instead of three books, I have four books. When you think about addition, addition is really just adding on something, bringing on something more to what you already have. That's what addition is. You're bringing on something more to what you already have. And so if I look at that and I say, okay, I got the concept of what addition is. I'm bringing on more than what I already have. How could I apply this? Well, you could apply it to, let's say, a word problem, maybe something very simple. So let's say W.B. Du Bois here, he received his first college degree when he was about 20 years old. So he, he graduated from Fisk when he was about 20 years old. And he received his second college degree about two years later. So how old was he when he received his second college degree? Well, you know, you could ask your kid that type of question. It's a question that you can ask. Like well, say, oh, he started out at 20, and now we're going to add two years onto that time, right? So, you know, he started at 20, at two years. Well, he's going to be equal to 22 years old when he got his second college degree. So, so addition, whether you're talking about years or hats or cakes, or whatever it may be, you're just adding on something to what you already have. And that's a great way to try to explain it to your kid. And, and doing the same thing, you know, a, a great way to doing it is, is working with their birthdays. So let's say your child has a birthday coming. You can ask your child how old will they be at their next birthday or how old will they be 10 birthdays from now or how will they be in five years you can get them to start to understand exactly what addition is and they can start to figure out real math problems in their head and their brain when they start to apply it to themselves or things that they can relate to. So as I mentioned, you could do this with a lot of things. It's to work with you know, hats or, or books or, or food or, or shoes or, or animals. If you want to go ahead and ask your child, how many much more do we have based on what we already started with? How much more do we have? So really, you can apply it about anything you want. If you start to work with your child with everyday household items, you can really get them to understand what exactly addition is. And that's so important because you want to make sure your child understands what addition is before you move on to doing complicated problems. It really helps them understand it overall. Overall.